All right, something to keep in mind when we go outdoors, that's for sure. They can be hiding in the grass and trees and everywhere. Yeah, I'm sure we, uh, there's a lot of tips you can do to prevent ticks from mm -hmm. kind of crawling up you, you know, tucking your pants into your, into your socks mm -hmm. and, you know, wearing the, the appropriate bug spray, that kind of a thing. You might want to be outside this morning because this is the time of day to, you know, maybe go out, do a little exercise, maybe a hike in the woods because the afternoon, that's when we're looking at the sticky stuff mm, yeah. to it's be around. It's already kind of sticky. It is already mm -hmm. yeah, kind of sticky <laughs> outside. Yeah, here's Newport looking at dry skies at the moment blue sky good visibility here's a look at our east greenwich camera you see the sun reflecting on narragansett bay the bay today will be a little quieter than yesterday we've had some white caps at times in the bay live radar nothing out there in terms of rain in our area showers thunderstorms moving away from us a threat tracker for today at the medium level we are still in a heat advisory and we will be again tomorrow as well we have an air quality alert in effect for today but today it's going to be a storm free day good news there and as we take a look at your forecast for saturday hot and humid highs will be around 90 and strong to severe storms are expected for saturday but sunday looking fantastic out there right now we're in the mid 70s already and it's not even eight o'clock in the morning satellite radar picture showers thunder moving away New York, Pennsylvania, all quiet. We do have a cold front that's going to be working its way into the northeast over the next 24 hours. Out ahead of it today, we'll have hazy, hot, and humid conditions, and that will continue right into the evening. Not a shower or thunderstorm to speak of. Now, tomorrow morning, there could be a shower or thunderstorm coming on through out ahead of the cold front. As the front gets a little closer in the afternoon, that's when we're really going to be seeing the hefty thunderstorms working their way through the area. One, two, three, four, five o'clock in the afternoon, looking at the possibility for some storms. And some of them could bring torrential rain, maybe some strong damaging wind gusts as well. It's all out of here, though, for Sunday. Sunday looking amazing with less humid air, cooler temperatures, and uh, partly sunny skies. But the th severe threat for tomorrow, mainly in the afternoon, Storm Prediction Center is uh, in a slight chance of seeing severe weather. That's what we were in yesterday. Strong winds, torrential rain, lightning, and yes, even the slight chance of a tornado here in southeastern New England, including Rhode Island. Forecast for today, we're looking at sunshine up around 90, 91 degrees with a triple H conditions. It'll be storm free today on the beaches, storm free there as well. Sunny, humid, there is still a moderate risk of rip currents at area beaches. Please stay off the rocks and jetties. There are still some pretty big waves, surf three to six feet today. Out on the bay, winds from the west and southwest, five to 10 knots, waves generally one to two feet within the bay. Here's your forecast for tonight. Gonna be another muggy one, warm, about 74, seven day forecast. We're looking at those showers and thunder tomorrow, and then, boy, look at Sunday, 81, low, no humidity, and that kind of weather sticks around right into the middle and latter part of next week. Full forecast, you can always find that at WPRI.com. We'll alert you through the day tomorrow on a Pinpoint Weather 12 app. Be sure to download it if you haven't already. Melissa's here now with another